Independence in daily life is fundamental for every individual. However, many people have to depend on others or face challenges in their daily life due to a disease, injury or disability. Occupational therapy is a profession that enables individuals with such difficulties to achieve independence or become self-sufficient. The main goal of occupational therapy is to help people to participate in their everyday life by developing, maintaining or restoring skills. Children with autism spectrum disorder, ADHD, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy and others are able to engage in their daily life activities such as play, schooling and self-care through occupational therapy treatment. Occupational therapy is given in the neonatal ICU as well in supporting premature and underdeveloped babies with their specific needs such as assisting with proper breastfeeding practices, proper positioning, sensory stimulations and providing supportive environments for their development. They also play a vital role in early diagnosis and early treatment. Occupational therapy helps people of all ages providing treatment to people with physical, mental, developmental or emotional problems that impact the ability to do their day-to-day -day tasks such as eating, bathing, getting dressed, brushing, etc. Occupational therapy became popular during the Second World War. It played a crucial role in the rehabilitation of soldiers who had faced physical and mental injuries. Through a range of occupational therapy techniques, these individuals were able to regain abilities and find hope in their lives. The World Federation of Occupational Therapists WFOT, is an organization established in 1951 in England with the purpose of unifying occupational therapists worldwide. India is one of the founding council members of the WFOT and there are a total of 107 member organization countries. It has been over 70 years since occupational therapy started in India. In 1949, Dr. Kamala V. Nimkar, an American occupational therapist, came to India and established the first occupational therapy department in KEM Medical College under the Maharashtra government. In 1950, the first occupational therapy college was started under the leadership of Dr. Kamala V. Nimka in KEM Medical College. And in 1952, she established the All India Occupational Therapist Association and successfully registered it under the Bombay Public Trust Act. Since 1982, the All India Occupational Therapist Association, IOTA, has been regulating occupational therapy education and licensing. The Academic Council of Occupational Therapy, ACOT, a constituent body of IOTA, is responsible for maintaining the standards of education and training in accordance with the international standards set by the WFOT. The Indian Journal of Occupational Therapy, IJOT, is the official publication of IOTA, providing a platform for researchers, academics and practitioners to share their research findings, innovative practices and insights related to occupational therapy. Today, there are 50 occupational therapy colleges in India, spanning across national universities, state universities, private institutions and deemed to be universities, offering bachelor's program of 4.5 years and master's and PhD programs, with specializations in the field of neurology, mental health, pediatrics, orthopedics, or oncology. In India, there are about 10,000 occupational therapists practicing in various settings like national institutes, government and private medical colleges, hospitals, schools, rehabilitation centers, and private setups. Every year, the IOTA has the National Conference OTCON. The OTCON 2024 will be organized by the Kerala branch of All India Occupational Therapists Association at Gokulam Park Hotel and Convention Centre. The conference is the 61st annual national conference of IOTA. It is expected to be attended by 1,500 delegates including occupational therapy students, occupational therapists and other health professionals.
The conference serves as a platform for the participants to gain insights into the new trends and innovations in the field of occupational therapy. The long-awaited OTCon 2024 will be held in Kerala after a decade. We take this opportunity to extend a heartfelt invitation to you and look forward to your support in making this event a grand success.